Welcome back to the Departure Brief. Today I am on a solo mission in Varanasi in northern India, a holy city that runs along the banks of the Ganges River. The city is famous for its 88 ghats that line the banks of the river. I have just taken a tuk-tuk to Namo Ghat in the northern section of Varanasi and we will be walking all the way back to Asi Ghat in the south and seeing what we see along the way. For those that might be unfamiliar with what a ghat is, essentially it means steps down to water. Of an evening you'll see hundreds and hundreds of children flying their kites along the ghats. They do it here because of the open space and less traffic. It is quite amazing to see how high some of these kites can fly. Definitely a lot less tourists in this northern part. There is people playing cricket, lots of children flying kites, and lots of people building boats. It's just beautiful walking along the uh, Ganges at this time of night. You can see all the way along the Ganges to where we're walking, and the lighting is just beautiful. It's about four o'clock, but come sundown, all these ghats will be filled with people as they conduct the arti ceremonies along the river, which is pretty much a ceremony of light. There'll be lots of hums and songs and clapping and putting your hands up, lots of smoke and fire. It just looks magical. So we're gonna walk into that as we get back. And those ceremonies are always when the sun comes up and when the sun goes down. So stay tuned for that. So when you're walking around this area, it's not uncommon for people to want to have photos with you and also just to have photos taken of them. It's very nice. Boat building on the Ghats is a centuries old tradition deeply intertwined with the city's cultural, religious and economic heritage. It's cool to watch their generational building techniques in action. So if you're interested in taking a boat, I'm hearing lots of prices as you just walk along the river, there is literally stacks and stacks of boats that line the whole way. I've heard 500 for two people, I've heard 600 for one hour. I think the price is very negotiable depending on the type of boat you want. Like you've got these little rowboats here, motor powered ones that are a little bit bigger. And then I've even seen like massive cruise ships. So you can pick your package, I think, and the price is negotiable. But for me, I'm just on foot today. So this area, Gai Gat, I hope I pronounced that right. Obviously there is an arty ceremony here that they're setting up for. These things will all be on fire, there's lots of flags. This whole area, all these steps will be packed with people as the ceremony happens. I'm assuming it's right here along the Ganges. So another thing you'll notice when you walk along the Ghats is that there are lots of stalls where they're selling empty water bottles and containers. So people on their pilgrimages here will fill them up with water from the Ganges and take them away. I'm not exactly sure what they'll do with that water, but if you know, please let me know in the comments. Some parts of Varanasi are just so impressive. The city is over a thousand years old, let's not forget. But you're just walking along the Ghats and then all of a sudden you've just got these massive buildings. What are they? Forts, palaces, churches? I've got no idea, but they are. Very nice to look at. Obviously been here for a very, very long time. So in Varanasi, particularly when you're near the two ghats where the cremations happen regularly, it's not uncommon even when you're in the streets around the area for the deceased bodies to be carried down towards the river. Now Jamie Lee and I accidentally did a, a mistake before um, because Jamie Lee didn't want to see the, the body, she sort of turned away and shied from it and I did the same thing. Apparently what you're meant to do is close your eyes and do the peace hands together. That's fine, but you shouldn't turn your back. So note that on your trip to India or even to um, Pash in uh, Nepal. Now judging by the smell of the smoke in the air, I feel like I'm approaching the first cremation gap. So I'm gonna put the cameras away and I'll see you on the other side. And now I'm back walking along the Ganges. They were very, uh, very strict on cameras. Um, a few people were like, don't take photos of the burning gout. I just said, I'm not, I'm literally trying to avoid it. Um, got through without an issue, all good, play on. Wow. 
As we're getting closer to Asigash, the crowds are definitely picking up and it's also getting close to sundown, which means arty ceremony time. There's lots of people selling things on the street, lots of people selling chai and fairy floss and offerings and whatnot. Um, and I'm seeing a lot more international tourists. So we are near Man Mahal Gat, and this is obviously where most of the boats dock. Look at them all. <laughs> they are everywhere here. Well, it's hard to vlog here. So as the sun comes down, the steps of the Gats are getting swarmed with people who have come here to see the arty ceremonies. There's a very jovial feel in the atmosphere. You can tell the people are very excited and people have come from all over the world to see these arty ceremonies along the Ganges. You can just feel the energy. Look, I'm smiling. <laughs> Hi. So this, hello. <laughs> so this is Dash Ashwamedi Gat, a famous gat here in Varanasi, and a great spot to take in the arty ceremony. All the way up these steps will be filled with people. All the way down these steps and into the boats on the river, there will be droves and droves of boats down there. It is a great spot. Make sure you save it for when you come to Varanasi yourself. So the reason why these buildings behind me are built like such fortresses is because the river level rises quite drastically, well above my head. I've walked a fair chunk of it now, so I feel qualified to describe what I see. There is lots of people here for lots of different reasons. Obviously lots of people flying kites, playing cricket, but lots of other people are down here to sell their wares. People are down here to bathe and connect with the Ganges. There are architecture students that you'll see everywhere down here, just drawing the buildings in their sketchbooks. Obviously lots of people here on pilgrimages from all over the world. Tourists, just like me. Honestly, if you come to Varanasi, I highly recommend just jump on a tuk-tuk or get a boat all the way up to the other side of the Ghats and walk along it. You'll be surprised with what you see and you'll be surprised with how kind people are and how many people stop you for a chat. Okay, we are approaching the second burning Ghat now and there's no way around it, so I'm gonna have to put the cameras away. See you on the other side. If you're familiar with Hinduism and you can answer this question, I'd love to know in the comments. Why here? Why is being cremated here on the Ganges in Varanasi such a significant thing? I'd love to know. Please drop a comment. All right, folks, just in front of me, we've got our first eyes on Asigat, and it looks magnificent from here. Check this out. All right, we've just arrived at Asigat, just in time for the arty ceremony. You're in for a treat. It's going to be very loud over there, so I'm going to leave you here with some nice shots of the arty ceremony. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We've got a lot more in store for you in India. Jamie Lee will be back on the next video. Till next time, have a great day. Yeah.